Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video man And in this video, um, my mom actually, we were watching the news And she was telling me while I was at work like, yo Chad, turn on the news They got like something going on in China um, But she did find the article and she sent me the article So this is basically um, China's banning kids from playing online video games during the week so this article um, is from CNN. I know I don't really rock with CNN like that, um, but they do have actual news when they're not trying to be biased. You know, when it's anything that involves stuff that happens in the country, they do this weird spin on it. But when it's like outside the country, they just tell the facts as it is. But anyway, so like I said, you know, China has been banning kids from playing online video games during the week. Um, and so I'm just going to read here from the article what's going on. So China has barred online gamers under the age of 18 from playing on weekdays and limited their play to just three hours most weekends, marking a significant escalation of restrictions on the country's massive gaming industry. Starting this week, minors will be allowed only one hour of playtime between <coughs> Dang. COVID only one hour of playtime between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Friday, on a Friday, weekends, and public holidays. Um, the move represents a huge tightening of earlier limits set by the agency in 2019, and the agency is the MPPA, National Press and Public Administration, um, which has restricted play to 90 minutes on weekdays and three hours on weekends for children. So anybody underneath 18, um, you can only play really for 90 minutes on weekdays if they even allow you to play during the weekdays and three hours on the weekend. So like Friday, eight to nine, that's it. After that, you're done. Saturday, eight to nine, that's it. For that hour, you're done. Sunday, eight to nine, you're done. Like that's it. That's your weekend and those are your hours. So I'm just sitting up here like, you know, I'm not even surprised that China did this, honestly, because China, they just... I don't know what China has going on. You know, I I went to Georgia State. I graduated December, but I actually took a class my last spring semester um, at Georgia State. And one of the kids was a Chinese exchange student. And we were asking him, like, yo, like, how does China operate? Because we hear all these things happening. He was telling us about how, you know, chi people, the Chinese government is rounding up, you know, Muslims or the Kakwehi or Kihar people. And they're harvesting their organs and he was like yeah you know i'm just trying to bring awareness and i was like that's crazy and then we also asked him like as a class like yo like how does china actually operate like do y'all have individuals like are people individuals or is it everything's a collective like everything's based on the betterment of society and he was like everything's based on the betterment of society so he was like they don't really do god or any of that like if it doesn't benefit everybody as a whole then they don't do it so he was like they're more so geared towards technology and if we do this for society everybody has to do it because you know we're like a collective so when i see this you know like restriction on just playing video games um you know, off rip, I'm like, this isn't far from what China's been doing. They already said you can't have more than one kid. Then they said, oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. We have a social credit score where if you have your social credit scores low, you may not be able to travel and different things like that. And now they're restricted how long you can sit in front of your own video game you bought and play the video game. So the MPPA noted this week that the rules were being issued at the beginning of the new school semester, putting specific requirements for preventing the addiction to online games and protecting the healthy growth of minors. Um, investors were quick to react. NTES slumped 3.4% during regular trading hours in New York on Monday. Um, they suffered roughly the same drop in Hong Kong on Tuesday before ticking back up 1.6%. In recent months, China has embarked on a major clampdown on private enterprise, which has engulfed some of the country's top players. Initially, it appeared that regulators' main target was booming tech sector, but lately that has expanded to reach other to reach other industries, my bad, my bad about that, such as private education. 
So at a news conference Monday, a spokesperson for the MPAA, MPPA said that the strict new curves were in response to complaints from parents. Um, many parents said that teenagers' addictions to online games seriously affected their studies and physical and mental health, leading to a series of social problems, making parents suffer. So I guess the reason this is really being implemented, you know, I thought it was like people are just playing too many games, but it looks like parents are like, yo, games are taking over my kid's life. This is causing them not to study. Um, their physical and mental health is, you know, going down. And just to tell y'all a little story about this, like when I was growing up, I was in middle school because I came up with, I had the GameCube, I had the Wii and off rip, like I love games. You feel me? That's just, I guess as a dude, you know, you just love games. Like you have something to work towards, you get your little achievements, your bonuses, <clears throat> and you can work towards, you know, new, new little, I guess like goals and accolades, whatever you want to call it. So my parents, they noticed that my brother and I were getting too into games, right? And, you know, I had Nintendo DS, a Game Boy, all of that as well. So my parents actually told us we couldn't play video games during the week. They were like, we don't want your schoolwork to go down. Your grades are going to go on a slip. You guys are addicted because I'm not going to lie to you. When I used to play video games, right? Through the week, I never played. But as soon as Friday came, when I got home from school, your boy was on his game system all day and night. I would literally get home from school, play the game until the morning, until like 4 or 5 a.m., sleep 4 to 5 to 7, wake up, play the game the entire Saturday until 4 to 5 a.m., sleep 6 to 7, wake up and play it all day Sunday until Sunday night at like 10, get offline, go to bed, and wait to go to school. Now, for me, I always got good grades in school. So it was like, I used to ask them, like, yo, why can't I play? Because, like, my grades are A's and B's. They're not going to slip because I'm on the game. And my friends used to be like, they used to clown me, like, y'all can't play games during the week. And the thing was, like, it had gotten so normalized like that we couldn't play during the week that our my friends, at least, and my brothers, <coughs> they used to just say like, oh, like we'll catch all on the weekend or anytime we got on during the weekend, they will always be ready to play. Like they knew when the weekend comes, Chad and Dylan, they're going to be online and they're going to be playing the game. Like we have to run with them because we were too good at the game. Like. It was a point where it was like, okay, y'all are too good at the game. But I was only in 6th and 7th grade, so it was like, what else is there to do? I mean, I did sports, but when I wasn't doing sports, I'm like, I'm going to run the game, you feel me? So I definitely do, you know, see what the parents are saying in this situation. Like, I'm not going to be biased like, China, they're just always making strict rules. Like, they do make strict rules, yes, we got to address that first off, but... I do understand where the parents could be coming from in this circumstance because my parents felt the exact same way. At least though, my parents had the, I guess, opportunity or the free will to tell us personally as our parents, like, we don't want you guys playing during the week. You can only play on the weekend. I respect what my parents said, so I only play on the weekend. Versus like my parents saying, we don't want y'all playing during the week and the weekend. And then they put in that responsibility on the government to now put forth new regulations and all that. So, yeah, I just want to, you know, give that side of it that, yeah, I've been through the same thing. So really, my parents were like China, you feel me? No, nah, I'm just kidding. But I mean, my parents, they did it for good reasoning and my grades never slipped. I actually think it was probably better that way. But as I got older, it was like. Either I'm going to study or I'm not. Like, them telling me, oh, Chad, you can't play the game. Like, if I was just going to do what I wanted to do anyway, me not playing the game, I could just take that into me being on my phone or I could just be all into sports. So it's really like at a certain point, this is kind of just like the deter kids from, you know, putting all their days and effort and watching life pass them by because they're just on the game. But back to the article, man. In recent years, the Chinese government implemented a registration system which required people who play computer games to do so under their real names, allowing companies to check up on them. So I guess like if kids were really on the game a lot, when they put their real names in the system, they register for the games. 
the companies of these games could be like, yo, like, are you good? Like, is your physical and mental health good? You know, that sort of thing. So this week, it reiterated that policy with the MPPA noting that online game enterprises shall not provide game services in any form to users who have not registered or logged in with their real names. In a statement Tuesday, Tencent said that it had been working on various new technology and functions for the protections of minors. So that will continue as Tencent strictly abides by and actively implements the latest requirements from Chinese authorities, the company added. Tencent has previously noted that the amount of revenue it earns from minors playing games is relatively small. In its most recent earnings presentation, it said that players under the age of 16 accounted for only 2.6% of its gross gaming receipts in China. The Chinese tech giant had already made headlines earlier this month for, annou for announcing limits on the amount of time minors could spend playing the company's online games, such as the popular title Honor of Kings. I've never heard of that before, but I play like Apex and Call of Duty's Trash, so I don't play that anymore. I just play free games, really. Under those rules, minors could play the game for only two hours on a holiday and an hour on other days. And the Zenawa Zhuwa, I'm not sure how to say it, sorry if I'm butchering it, published a lengthy analysis that used terms such as spiritual opium and electronic drug to describe the harmful effects of gaming on children. So after they like basically came out with the you know restrictions on the amount of time minors could play and all of that. They have like newspapers over there in China that are like making gaming seem super harmful. Now, I think that there is a good balance between like you spending all day on the game, you feel me? And you actually taking a break and playing when you want to and that sort of thing. Those who are just addicted, you know, you do need a break. If your parents can't get you to stop playing the game, you know, you need like some type of break from the game. You feel me? So that spiritual opium and electronic drug, they, they really mean it. Um, NetEase did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Um, the new rules prompted outcry on Chinese social media where many users complained that they were too strict. This policy presumes that gaming is bad, wrote one user on Weibo, Weibo, Chinese Twitter-like platform. Some also pointed out the drawbacks of imposing a blanket ban, suggesting that there should be rules that apply for different kinds of games and minors of different ages. Um, are the ages of 7 and 17 the same? So basically what they're saying is like, these restrictions they feel are too strict, which they did say. So it's like, okay, you know, should the same thing apply from, okay, I'm 17 years old and I want to play my games more hours than you know one hour every day on the weekend one hour saturday one hour sunday one hour friday i'm 17 versus a seven year old or a 13 year old versus a 16 year old or what type of games are considered so addicting or so dangerous to minors that they need to play them in such small hours like should minecraft be I don't know, reduced down to playing the game one hour versus like Call of Duty or versus Fortnite. You feel me? So they're like this blanket ban system. It's just a blanket ban. And I don't they don't really um agree with it. But I just thought it was kind of crazy how well, I didn't think it was crazy, but I was also well, I thought it was crazy because I was like China has a social credit score. They're harvesting organs. They're already a collective type of society there's no real individuals and now they're banning games just the other day they banned bitcoin in china and it's like their 99th time doing the ban of bitcoin so you know they're trying to cut down on the amount of addiction i guess that people are playing video games even though the percentage of people who play video games they said in the article is like 2.6 percent so that's a small percentage of their entire population that they say is addicted to games. But like I said, I've, you know, my parents, they went through having restrictions for us to play the game so we could have good grades and stuff. Um, so I definitely see where the parents are complaining, but I don't necessarily agree with the parents complaints being put on the government to put down these blanket restrictions, no matter the age, no matter the game. You feel me? But I just thought this was a interesting article so leave your comments down below if y'all have any and as always it's been your boy chad let me know what y'all think 
and I'm out. Peace.